Welcome beautiful people, Joseph here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the promised white cream. This is going to serve as a canvas for many, many of our formulations, which we're going to make in the future. All you need is a pack of emulsifying wax, mineral oil in the form of, it, of baby oil, beg your pardon, baby oil, microwave oven, stirring implement, bowl, jug, boiling water, basically everything we use to make the olive oil cream with. Um, so should we dive in guys? Let's do it. Right guys, here's the tutorial. So we're going to need a clean bowl, emulsifying wax, and of course a bottle of baby oil, which is basically liquid paraffin. So what we need to do is we're in the clean bowl, we need to put one and a half tablespoonfuls of the emulsifying wax. Now here you can see me umming and ahhing because I wasn't too sure whether I wanted a thicker cream or a, a, regular, a regular textured cream. In the end, I decided to opt for one and a half tablespoonfuls of emulsifying wax to two tablespoonfuls of oil. This would give you a thicker, denser cream, which I love. Um, it's my preference, but you guys, if you prefer regular cream, by all means go for um, one tablespoon. So here you can see me um, pouring the baby oil onto the spoon. I'm going to use two tablespoonfuls of baby oil. In goes number one. Put it in, boy. <laughs> in goes number two. <clears throat> right. Put the lid on it before you knock it over, Joseph. We all know how clumsy you are. That's it. Good boy. Right now then, stir away. Basically, you just need to cover all the flakes in the oil. Um, yep. You're doing a good job there, lad. That's it. Right, in the microwave with that lot now, and you need your jug full of boiling water. So here's our liquid, which we've just microwaved, and I've leave it and leave it in the microwave until basically all the white flakes have dissolved. I've also got a jug full of 100 mils of boiling tap water, which I've just I just boiled in the kettle just now. Add slowly to the bowl full of the emulsifying wax and the baby oil mixture. Add it about half, so about 50 mils. Now this is the important step, guys. Stir, stir, stir. Don't stop stirring. You might see little um, little uh, puddles of oil on the surface. Just keep stirring those in, guys. Uh, it takes probably about three or four minutes until the, the mixture starts to cool and then thicken up. Um, it's really important that you try to get rid of those little, um, little pools of oil on the surface, guys. Um, this is already starting to look like a beautiful formula. Um, if you follow this recipe, you won't go wrong, people. This is This is a foolproof way to make white cream now then as you can see here this is probably about five minutes in it's starting to thicken up a dream and i'll be back shortly to show you the finished article welcome back how did you all find the tutorial simple or not so simple let me know in the description below and i'll as i said before I'll finesse the tutorial so that they're um far friendlier and uh, easier to understand and follow so this is the cream it's really lovely and thick and gloopy and glossy and white. It's pure white. There's not any there are no preservatives that in that at all. Um, perfect for dry skin. Uh, I'll put some on my forehead. I don't want to take my glasses off so I can I can see what I'm talking to them whilst I talk to you. Bring them down my nose a bit so I don't get them on my <laughs> glasses. This cream is perfect for dry skin. It's perfect for normal skin in the winter. I'll also be showing you how to make an oil-free version using a silicone liquid, which you can buy off eBay, um, which is perfect for oilier skins. This cream, I realized whilst I was making it, would be I, the, the the baby, the white cream we've just made would be, it's all in my hair, oh well, would be ideal for um, slugging. So why not try the game-changing serum followed by the white cream at night or before you go on an aeroplane? That would be great, wouldn't it? So should we recap on what we did, guys? So in a clean bowl, I added... Um, one table, one and a half tablespoonfuls of, wasn't it, because I preferred a thicker cream today, um, one and a half tablespoonfuls of emulsifying wax, two tablespoonfuls of baby oil, I then took that lot, put it in the microwave uh, for about a minute and a half, uh, and that's on full power until the flakes had all dissolved. 
then at the same time I bought a jug I bought some more to put into a jug about 100 mils or so say um brought that lot back to the table uh I'm not walking that far people it's only about five feet from the kitchen to to where I was doing the tutorial um so the, the whole lot stayed uh, stayed nice and warm that's the key to a good formulation is to try and keep everything as warm as possible because if you don't it starts to set so we brought that lot back to the table i then added the water slowly to the emulsifying wax and the baby oil stirred it in and um kept stirring for about three or four minutes until it got past the single cream phase to the double cream phase um what I do as I tend to like in the texture of the cream is it's forming to uh, cream from cows, you know, the cream wheat with strawberries and cream, so on and so forth. Um, so you, you've got your single cream phase, which is the runnier phase, uh, then the thicker double cream phase. And then after about five minutes, you can leave it. Stir it maybe every once or two, uh, once or twice, every three or four minutes, but as long as you don't get those puddles of oil on 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 the surface um you're laughing basically guys so this cream now would form a perfect canvas i like to use uh use the term canvas for anti-aging creams um i'm going to be doing an experiment i'm just waiting on a few ingredients to arrive um i'm going to be trying to make my own la mer moisturizing cream which is the most expensive cream in the world it's 1800 pounds i believe nearly 2000 something dollars for uh, 500 mils silly money people so I'm going to try to make my own uh, La Mer cream, which the, the white cream will be a basis for. Um, I've already ordered some sea kelp, powdered sea kelp off eBay and um, brewer's yeast, which I'll nip into Wilco's and buy a little pot of brewer's yeast. I'm going to intend to put all of that lot into a, a jug, um, put it somewhere warm for possibly a week. I don't know. The, the miracle broth, which is the active ingredient in La Mer, is supposed to smell like sherry, although... I've been told and I've read online that uh, the, the Miracle broth, broth has people singing to it or playing it strange noises and they leave it in the dark for three months and um, goodness knows what else they do to it. They'll probably go to the moon to, to get dust and they bring that back and sprinkle it on it too. <laughs> it's absurd, isn't it, guys? But anyway, yeah, so I get off the beaten track. Yeah, I'm going to be using the uh, the white cream with the liquid paraffin, the baby oil as a um, as a base cream, canvas cream for my La Mer experiment. Uh, I'll post videos all on that as, as and when I start that experiment as soon as the stuff arrives. So that's it guys. Please don't forget to like or and subscribe to this channel. Um, let's all try and get the message out there people that um, making your own skincare will work. Um, it saves you loads of money. Um, we're not lying in the pockets of the big beauty brands either, which is the most important thing in my opinion. You also get to control the amount of actives which go into the formulas, thus making them far more effective. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Until next time, lots of love. Bye.